Hey everybody, welcome to Woodness Goodness. I'm your host, Graham, a very proud to be semi-professional amateur, where we pride ourselves in making the least amount of mistakes as possible. When we make that mistake, we tattoo it on our brain to never look back, always move forward, and take those mistakes and turn them into beautiful spring flowers in which will provide nectar for those who enjoy it. Anyhow, we are here in my in-law's backyard. My father-in-law has always wanted a greenhouse and he is currently in Florida. So let's surprise him by building the greenhouse while he's down there so he can come home and start planting survival food like everyone else is planning on doing. We're gonna make it nice and simple. We're gonna be using recycled or reused uh, single pane windows. We're gonna buy some of that polycarbonate roofing and it's gonna be awesome. Always do unto your father-in-law in which you wish him to do for you. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put gravel down. So when it rains, the water will mostly run through the rock and it won't sit there on like soil. So I stole some gravel from my father-in-law's driveway. Thank you, Tom. And uh, we're gonna use that as our gravel. There's other ways of doing this, but we're keeping everything budget friendly because I'm most likely gonna make him pay me back. <laughs> Okay, step one, complete. We've got our footprint, we've got our gravel base that it will sit on. Next step is walls. I'll tell you a little bit about the footprint and the general dimensions that we're shooting for. 12 feet this way, 20 feet that way. This wall is gonna be six feet tall. The reason that is, is this is gonna be a lean-to style up against the house. I am reusing windows for this wall. Um, believe it or not, it's the original windows I was going to originally use for my cabin build like a couple years ago. But uh, they're really old windows and as you'll see, a greenhouse is really the only thing they should be used for. Our studs are gonna be at 32 inches. That's the width of all my windows. The height changes on the windows, but the width remains the same. So we're gonna get this small wall framed up and ready to go. Like I said, six feet tall, 20 feet long. Let's go.
crowning our studs just because it makes it easier if all your wood is kind of in the same orientation. Remember, if you're building with uh, pressure treated, your, your anchors have to be like galvanized or enamel coated because the pressure treated kind of properties will just eat away at your anchors. I learned that the hard way. Okay. There we go. I'll keep talking to myself. It's helpful. Oh my gosh. Oh. Bring this down. Okay, 251 and three quarter. That's 253. 252 and a half. 252 and a quarter. 252 and a quarter. <sighs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's awesome. How long will it stand there? <laughs> All right, because I'm gonna have an angle and because I'm not gonna bother measuring it, because I want this greenhouse to be something that is easy to put together for me and you, <laughs> mainly me. So six foot wall, this side, eight foot wall, this side. I'm not gonna, you know, rinky dink any little pieces of wood, et cetera, et cetera. So what I wanna do is I wanna build my wall that goes this way, basically bottom plate, eight foot studs. <clears throat> and then I'll measure six feet up on this part of this wall, draw a line, and then I will run a angled two by four top plate and I might double it up and I'll simply go from that measurement, the six foot measurement to the eight foot measurement. And that will give me my perfect angle and then I'll just cut what's left. I think that's a pretty quick way of doing what I wanna do. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, I still gotta build this back wall up against the house. The reason I'm putting another wall back there is so I have studs to build shelves on. Um, you could, I guess, put a ledger board up against the house and run your rafters like that, but um, that's not what we're gonna do. And because I want this two by four by 12 back, because it's just kind of holding my studs together, I'm now gonna put my angled pieces on each of the walls here, the side walls, I guess. I'm gonna get the angle and we're just gonna, I guess, nail it right onto place because these are all spaced out already at 32 inch spacings. Then we can cut these bad boys off, take my two by four by 12 back, and then I will be able to take the two by the 12 footers and finish this back wall here. And we'll do it right there. These are 14 feet long and these were $20 each. All right, we're gonna use screws, go under this top plate into uh, our two by four rafter. I bought hangers, but I feel like this is gonna be just as good.
I think what we're gonna do, I have two left over, is we're gonna sandwich the end walls just to strengthen them up a bit. That's better, I think that looks very cool. And there we have it. That is our framed up greenhouse. We still have to do a couple things because it's all gonna be glass. Well, this whole side is gonna be those recycled windows. Uh, and I mean, we'll use windows as often as we can, but we're probably gonna run out. We've got a six foot wall here. The tall wall is eight feet. We created that perfect pitch. Well, perfect pitch by starting our angle on the top of the plate up there and then bringing it down to our six foot wall. It's not perfectly level. There's a bit of a low spot in the middle of the back wall, but we can always lift it up a bit and put more gravel under it. What I'll do right now, I'll put on the screen the cost breakdown of what we've got so far. Both our bottom plates are 12 feet and eight feet and 12 feet and eight feet. The sidewalls here are your entire 12 foot lengths. My studs are at 32 inch spacing, except for some of the corners. As always guys, thanks for watching. This was part one of the greenhouse build. Part two, we will do the roof and the windows and uh, we should basically be done. So be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.